Hey, and uh, welcome. Uh, this is an excerpt from the How to Vectorize Everything uh, course that I'm putting together. And I uh, wanted to go ahead and share this uh, free tip. Uh, go ahead and, okay. So, let me put you in a scenario. So you have to get a logo and you have to pull it out from some existing graphic that the client had that you, had, you just need to pop onto something else. You don't have a whole lot of time. Hell, you don't even have enough time to vectorize it. So here is a quick tip that I can share with you. I'm in Photoshop right now. I've pulled this brochure into Photoshop and it's, you know, it's decent. It's not terrible. Um, but we have, um, we have all this other stuff we don't need. So what we're gonna do first is uh, go ahead and select the area that you want out. So you're gonna go ahead and select this. Um, then you can go to image and crop. Now you get this, and that's fine. Um, and then if you have a, you know enough time to go through this, you can kind of bring your guides in here and kind of tighten up your selection by getting rid of those um, little borders on the side. So you just go ahead and click those off. Uh, we'll go here, click on the outline there, and bring up your selection here. Enter, uh, I'm sorry, edit file, image. Oh, sorry, edit, image, crop. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm not gonna vectorize this, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to uh, image, mode, grayscale. That's fine, and discard all that. And I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and go to adjustments, levels, and we're just gonna pull our black in, as you can tell, we pretty much have a nice clean shape there. Um, we're pretty much, that's where we want to be. Hit OK. All right. File, save as. Uh, call this desktop brochure one JPEG, save good. OK. Jump in Illustrator. All right, I have the same document here. Now what I want to do is go ahead and zoom in on this. And, uh, yes, save, sorry. Oh, no. Okay, so we want to go in here and, sorry for the little hiccup there. Um, we got this image, so we want to go ahead and go file, place, and we've got our desktop, brochure, place, drop that here. Uh, the size didn't change because I didn't change the proportion at all. Uh, I can even go into my transparencies, drop this down to like a 50 so I can get it aligned. Doesn't really make too much of a difference at this point, but we can do that if we needed to. Enter, it's fine, okay. Uh, bring that back up to 100. Go and to your image trace. Uh, you want your mode to be black and white, it's fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and do black and white logo. Let it do its job, which was quick, did it already. Honestly, you can probably get away with doing this as a vector graphic, but maybe not because you still have to do some cleanup and that's just not the time you have. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go to Object, Expand, Fill Stroke, OK. Everything's vector, great. Now, let's go ahead and expand again and then go to Object, Ungroup. Now, we're going to go over, leave everything selected, go over to your Pathfinder and combine or unite. Okay, I made a mistake and I didn't get rid of my box, so let's go ahead and go in outline mode. Delete my outer border box. Don't need that. Okay, now I'm ready. Now I'm going to select all of this and combine. Hit Y. Now you have yourself a mask. Select the shape behind it. Hold down Command 7. And there you go. Now you have your full color logo in a vector binding box that you just made out of Photoshop. With a little a little tweaking here and there, you can really clean this up. But if you need to knock it out in three minutes, this is the technique I would suggest for you. Three minutes to cleaned up path on your logo that you need to get done right away.
a little bit long for a title, so I'm just going to call this quick cleanup and uh, hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me, come by my Gumroad page, check out what I have there, and uh, feel free to sign up for any updates and news that I post out on my uh, email list. So feel free to sign up and I'll look for you. Have a good day and hope you enjoy the tip.